Now we've got our second badge and we're ready for some more Pokemon battles. And if you leave, you're gonna get sidetracked. Are you ready for this? Right, Ethan comes and wants a battle. But he's saying stuff about Team Rocket and, um, and you say that you beat him. And he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So he's saying, okay, if you beat him, let's battle. Let's see how good you are. See if I can beat him. And obviously, guess who wins? <laughs> Ethan does not stand a chance. He has some pretty good Pokemon. But not as not as good as mine, obviously, because I'm just awesome. Right, so Ghastly against a Zippo. Gust will probably weaken it quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's a little half. Um, yeah, it's Ghastly hasn't got that much good moves. He has ones that are completely suicidal, and some that are just plain stupid. Like Mean Look, you just can't like escape. It's not the best. Um, Curse. This is the completely suicidal one. He completely dies, which is pretty weird. But um, yeah, I get cursed, and uh, yeah, it's not the best thing in the world, and it's not the easiest thing to get rid of. But it's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. And as you can see, curse takes down quite a bit of experience. Try quite uh, a bit of hit points. I mean, um, yes, the next Pokemon is a Zubat. Isn't it weird how um, I I'm the only person in the whole game who can like name the Pokemon? Maybe it's just because. Uh, that's the real name, you just don't, they don't want you to get confused, but I don't know, it'll be pretty cool, could have like Zubat and then at the bottom of it, or could have the name like, like Jeff, and then at the bottom of it like Zubat or something, that, that'd be pretty good, it'll be a little quite good, because you can see, have some uh, like enthusiastic names for your Pokemon as well, but yeah, it's pretty good, um, oh and I'm nearly gone, I don't, oh yeah, I completely took a big blow out then, I really did. Um, just here, I tried. I tried so hard to get to get uh, the last attack in, but no, it didn't work. I tried roost, but yeah, it obviously went hard enough. So let's send out my last Pokemon, which is of course Croconaw, the Chompa. A chomp, chomp, chomp. Did you know where I got Chompa from? Chompa was actually from a TV program called Land Before Time. It was my old favourite uh, child's program when I was a kid, and I used to watch it all the time. And I just remembered a dinosaur called Chompa. And I was like, wow, brings back memories. So yeah, the last Pokemon. And you know what it is, don't you? Yep, the second evolution from his first starter, which is Baby, which you should be on right now. So, let me go through it again. If you chose um if you chose Cyndaquil, which would be Kuri Lava or something like that, he would have Croconaw. If you chose Totodile, which will now be uh, Croconaw, he would have Bayleaf. And if you have um, uh, Ch 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 Chikorita, which will now be Bailey, he will have uh, Kiwi Lava. Yeah, so whatever, basically, whatever Pokemon you have, he'll have the stronger version. He'll have something that you're weak against. But yeah, as you can see, it's not. It wasn't really that hard to defeat, which I thought really, really was. But no, it's not that hard. Uh, as you can see, I tried to be really cheeky and um, finish it off with a flash. I mean the scratch. Why did I say flash? It's because of your synthesis. That was that's a good move. If you have Bayleaf, get synthesis. 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 I can't even say it. Synthesis. Yeah, basically it heals your Pokemon just like uh, uh, PG does. Well, you know, PG does have a boost. So it's really good. And here I am trying to be cheeky again. Uh, try and use a really rubbish attack against him. I don't know. I don't know why I like being cheeky. It's just I'm just cocky. I I'm really cocky. You know, I used to say penisy. It's weird. But yeah, yeah, it is me being cocky again. Ugh, then I bet, I bet I'm going to use water gun or something. Water gun or scratch, that's when I'm being really cocky. You know, you've got to use water against grass, and then when you use water against grass, that means you're very cocky and up for a good battle. But, and there we go, there we go, there's, there's the old Joey style right there. So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really that easy. Well, it, it was pretty easy, but it wasn't that hard. That's the thing. It was in the middle. It is not, not the hardest battle up to date. The hardest battle still is the second gym. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's all done. And you get quite a lot of money for that, which can buy Pokeballs and stuff. And I hate, and he's basically not. He's not saying anything now. He's just saying, he's just saying, oh, he doesn't. He's just trying to like get away from the fact he just lost. And he's saying, uh, well, you know, you're 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 cool. I'll just let you go right now. 
and he just runs off. But he says people that stand in there are all weak and they should just get a life or something. It's weird, but he's, he's saying that you're cool, you can you can stay here, you just don't get in the way. Uh, now, you will need to... Um, oh, Chompa. Poor Chompa. Anyway, yeah, you will need to um, heal your Pokemon at the minute because you go to the Elex Forest and some Pokemon can be pretty tough. I'm not saying they are pretty tough because they're really not. But, um, yeah, some of them are pretty tough here. Uh, for example, Paris is, can be pretty tough. And some Weedles when you've got poison. You do, do not want that. And here we go. The puzzle. The puzzle. The puzzle. The puzzle. The puzzle. Oh, no. Right, yeah, basically, there's this man. And he's lost two of his Farfetch'd Ds. I'm just going to call them Farfetch'd. I don't even know if that's the name, but... Farfetch'd D doesn't really sound good. So, yeah, basically, it's um, a puzzle. You have to sneak up behind them and catch them. It's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, if you're not smart, you won't know what to do. Right, you can still get the Pokemon in the way, which is pretty annoying, even though there's no grass. I think that's a really nice touch. They should just keep it like that, because it's really nice, it's really cool. But yeah, so let's get going. There's the first Farfetch'd, and when you stand on these twigs, it faces the same way. See that? So, when you when it uh, notices you touch the branch, it's gonna, like, see that? You see? You see? But being as stupid as I am, I just run and go and uh, try and get it. But it tells you then that you have to be at the same like angle, you have to be like behind it. So here I am thinking, okay, what the hell is happening? So I just keep pressing these twigs, and then I realise that you have to go back and get it. Yeah, I can be pretty stupid at games sometimes, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty easy once you get to know it. But you know, it's pretty good, right? So basically, just touch him. If, if you screwed up the first time, just touch him again and it'll run right the same back. Now, all you have to do is go to the second branch. This is me having my little think. I'm like, okay, what the hell is happening? As soon as I do that, I'm like, oh, oh my god, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. But then I get caught by a Pokemon, which is a typical thing of Leave a Let's Plays, right? This is a typical thing of me. Whenever I figure something out, something always comes in the middle of it, it's really annoying. But, you know, that's just me. It's just how weird I am. But yeah, there we go, that's the first Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but yeah, that was the first one. Then he, then I'm like, yeah, I did it. That's kind of the game. Then he says, there's another one. Ugh. So I have to go and get another one. We have to go deep in the forest and figure out a harder one. Which is uh, not really harder, but it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Right, let's get going. So basically, we have to go to the end of the forest. Forget about this one now. And here we go, here it is. Let's just get this Pokeball right here. Which is a what is it? 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 A revive. Revive. If you don't know what that is, that's basically a medicine that if your Pokemon's fainted, you can bring it back to life. It's pretty cool and really helpful. Oh, yeah, my Pidgey. Oh, yeah, Zippo is loving the background of this uh, forest. I love, I, love, I love the way they did that. It's really good. It's really, really clever how they did that. I think it's really good. They should carry it on with all, all the Pokemon games now. Just have the Pokemon follow you. And there's a far fetch. There it is. Let's just give this battle to it. Come on, come on. Right, here it is. So, what you, what you actually have to do now is press it. And there we go. It's gone already. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's looking at me! Oh my god! Right, so basically, you have to just go to that one. And then the next one. It, it's pretty easy. It, it's really easy. But you have to miss that one out. Because I figured that out. You have to miss that stick out, else it'll start looking like that again. But you know, this was, I think this is the easiest one. So yeah, you basically just turn around, go down, which I'm pretty stupid at. Look at me, look at me, I'm like, oh, what's happening? Oh god, there's a tree, not a tree. And there you go, there you go, that's the two far fetch Ds in your pocket right now, let's get going. Like, come on, come on, let's go. Right, so he's saying, thank you, thank you, you saved my skin, man. You saved my job, you saved the Pokemon. Yeah, they're saying, and they're supposedly level 30. <laughs> it's weird. But yeah, I don't know. And he's just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, at least we did it. I mean, that's alright. And he's, he's saying you should have the charcoal, but he never gives it to you. Yeah, I'll show you how to get that in the next video. But now you get the HM01, which is cut. Cut makes you chop down trees. But as stupid as I am, I don't have a main Pokemon in my party that learns cut. So you know what, let's catch a Pokemon. And you know what this Pokemon is going to be, don't you? Yes. This Pokemon is going to be a Weedle. I'm going to train it to Kakuna, then train it to Beedrill, and then learn cut. I'm not going to use it as my main Pokemon, alright? 
I cannot use a Weedle as my main Pokemon. I really can't. I don't know why. I never have been able to. I don't know. I, I feel bad sometimes. Because, I don't know, it has feelings, man. It has feelings. But I can't use them sort of Pokemon like Butterfree, Beedrill. You know, I just can't use them. I just had to have a cool Pokemon. I can't I can't teach Cut to Zippo. I mean, running around cutting people with my main Pokemon. No, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. So let's just hope this gets it. Come on. Right, let's get going. Come on, it's gotta catch it, gotta catch it. Come on, come on. Yes, let's catch it. Right, so the next episode will be me training uh, Weedle, uh, training him to like level 10, which will, you know, it'll be pretty hard, pretty time consuming. But, right, right, you ready for this? It's gonna be in a montage sort of thing. Yeah, I hope you can't wait. I hope you can wait for that, man. Because that's gonna be awesome, like a Weedle on my shoulder. Aww. Anyway, guys, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. And I hope you're loving it. See you later.